This gave me an award for it, which I was shocked. I had no idea. Uh, there's a story about this song. I don't like stories. This song um, had been around, and uh, we, of course, played it for every artist in town, and every producer passed. That's what they used to do. And um, then we brought it to Arista, and they liked it for Diamond Rio, but they wanted us to rewrite the bridge. So we rewrote the bridge, and they didn't cut it anyway. And so this girl really loved the song. She was an assistant to one of the producers, and she handed it to him the day they went in to cut. And after they were all finished cutting, he said, well, there's a song here that Allison likes. Does anybody want to hear it? They said, put it on. Put it on. The other producer said, no, we already passed on that song. The artist said, well, I really like that song. So the other, other producer got mad and left. They cut the song, and I heard the rough of it about a month later. It sounded horrible, because the artist didn't know the song. He had no idea how to sing the song, and I thought, well, I guess that's going to bite the dust. Till they debuted the album from New Orleans, and I heard the song on the record, and I went, God, that sounds great. And of course, the label said, well, it'll never be a single. It wasn't even supposed to be on the album. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, don't, don't, don't worry about it. And then when it got to number 28 in the country, because every radio station was playing it, they published an ad that said, Radio You Win, it's the single. And it went like this. Yeah, right. 